and in this video we're gonna make a really nutritious carob energy bar. It's very easy to make with five ingredients. It's very fast and one of the key ingredients today is carob. Now carob offers an excellent alternative to chocolate or cacao. In fact, you can swap it out at any recipe that calls for cacao or cocoa powder. The wonderful thing about carob is it has a very delicious taste that is comparable to chocolate, but it doesn't have the caffeine. It also has a natural sweetness and it's high in protein and nutrients. I'm also gonna use ground almonds, hemp seed, dates. So you're gonna need a food processor for this. If you don't have a food processor, then you could use a jug blender and just keep scraping down the sides or use a hand blender. If your dates are quite hard, what I recommend is soaking them in water for about half an hour, then thoroughly draining off the water. That will just allow them to soften. So we're gonna start off with 100 grams of dates, about one cup. Then we want 75 grams of ground almonds. Now I've pre-ground these ahead of time in my nut mill. You can also use a food processor or a high powered blender to blend them down. And then I'm gonna add 25 grams of whole shelled hemp seeds, which is four tablespoons. And carob powder. There's, there's a couple of different types of carob powder. One tends to be more sweet, one tends to be more bitter. I like them both for different reasons. They're both very nutritious and um, delicious in their own way. So just use what you have available. So you want two tablespoons of carob powder and you want one teaspoon of a nice organic vanilla extract. Now my food processor is quite powerful. Remember, if you're not using a super high powered food processor or you're using a hand blender or a jug blender, soak your dates ahead of time for at least an hour. Give them a chance to soften. If you need to add something extra, like a little bit more ground almonds in there just to help firm it up again, then go ahead and do that. Just play with it. All right, let's switch this on. It's really gonna rock and roll for a few seconds here, so hold on tight. So you wanna let that blend until everything seems broken down. It's all right if you have a few rustic chunks in there. Sometimes I have little pieces of um, dates and things, and that's perfectly okay too. Wow, look at that. Mm. Smells really vibrant and fresh. So what you need now is just a little loaf tin and you want to line it with parchment paper. So I'm just going to pour in my mixture. You need to push it down firmly to get it to all stick together. It might take a minute or two, but that's a really important part of the recipe that you don't want to skip because if you don't press it down firmly enough, you won't get bars. You'll just get a crumble. It'd be a nice crumble, but this is all about bars that hold together really nicely. So when you're done, pop it in the fridge just to help it chill, help those flavors really permeate together. I would like to do that for about half an hour. Just also helps it solidify just a little bit more before I slice it up into bars. All right, it's time to see what we've got here. Um, this has been in the fridge for about 15 minutes. Absolutely delicious. 